using the Zoll AED Plus in a rescue. Cardiac arrest is a leading cause of death worldwide, and it can happen to anyone, anywhere, at any you age. What happened? Michael, are you okay? Are you okay? You call emergency services, you get the AED. Hurry, I'm gonna start CPR. Hi, call I'm emergency services, have someone retrieve the AED, the and begin I'm CPR immediately. Yes, please send help. Placement of the AED should allow for retrieval in three to four minutes. Yes, we have an AED and we've begun CPR. Place the AED next to the victim's shoulder. The AED provides both voice and text prompts, as well as graphic icons. Text prompts can be helpful in noisy environments, and icons are useful in multilingual Unit, okay. environments. Adult paths. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. All clothing must be removed from the victim's chest. Excessive chest hair and moisture should also be removed if present. The pad package includes scissors, razor, and other items to help prepare the victim for proper application of the pads. Completely expose the victim's bare chest. When using the scissors, always begin at the top of the shirt, cutting downward. Zoll's one-piece CPRD pads are designed for fast and accurate placement. Peel-in-place design helps prevent pad damage and mishandling. The CPRD pads have a CPR sensor built in that provides feedback to the rescuer on CPR compression quality. The landmark also supports proper CPR hand placement. Don't touch patient analyzing. Do not touch the patient in order to prevent interference with the heart rhythm analysis. The AED Plus analyzes the victim's heart rhythm to determine if a shock is needed. AEDs are safe and will not shock a victim with a normal heart rhythm. No shock advised. While only about 50% of cardiac arrest victims Start will require CPR. a shock from an AED on the first analysis, nearly 100% of victims will benefit from high-quality CPR. High-quality CPR helps maintain the flow of oxygenated blood to the heart and brain. Maintaining the flow of oxygenated blood can improve shock success and minimize long-term damage to the heart and brain. The CPR sensor built into the CPR D-pads allows the AED Plus to see when you are doing CPR as well as measure the quality of the compressions being performed in accordance with the most current guidelines. The AED Plus provides periodic text and voice push prompts harder. to remind you to push harder if compressions are too shallow. The compression depth indicator provides real-time visual feedback on the depth of compressions being performed. Keeping the indicator between the markers helps ensure optimum compression depth based on the most current guidelines. When CPR compressions are performed at guideline-compliant depth, the AED Plus gives the rescuer a reassuring, good compressions. The AED Plus also uses an adaptive metronome that speeds up or slows down to help guide rescuers to a guideline-compliant CPR rate. CPR depth and rate are two very important components of high-quality CPR. CPR is strenuous, and it's not uncommon for rescuers to tire and perform compressions that are too shallow. If they do, the AED Plus will again push remind harder. them to push harder. Providing high-quality CPR to a cardiac arrest victim can result in a shockable rhythm on the next analysis. Don't touch patient analyzing. Shock advised. Make certain nobody is touching the patient before pressing the shock button. Press flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Begin CPR, CPR immediately after the shock is delivered. Even after a shock has been given, a struggling heart needs high quality CPR to help Start it recover to a normal rhythm. Continue doing CPR until the patient regains consciousness or emergency services arrive to take over the rescue. Rescuers can tire when performing CPR. Guidelines recommend that when possible, rescuers take turns performing CPR to help maintain CPR quality. CPR D-pads should be used on victims over eight years of age or 55 pounds. CPR D-pads can accommodate larger victims by separating the side pad at the slit as shown. For children under eight years of age and under 55 pounds, pediatric pads should be used. 
For children, pads should be placed on the center of the chest and center of the back as shown. Using pediatric pads on an adult is not recommended. For additional information on proper use and maintenance of the AED Plus, consult the AED Plus Administrator's Guide provided with your AED or online at www.zoll.com.